Welcome back to The Witcher 3. As I said at the end of the last episode, I think I want to focus on the main quests for now. Because the two, two quests that I have here for the main quests are both level 6 and I'm level 10. So I'm starting to really out-level them. So I think I really need to get on them. So I need to do Family Matters and I think this is the one I'm going to do next. However, for Ladies of the Wood, I, uh, I need to read the book. So let's go ahead and read the book first and then see if maybe that's something I can do along the way for family matters. Perhaps I could do them at the same time. Let's find out. The gods have abandoned us. The mighty of this earth care not for our fate. Only the ladies of the wood watch over Velen. In foul times, when plague and famine reap their harvest, we must beg the ladies for help. If they see fit, they will hear our pleas and knock back fortune's foul blows. This is how one begs help from the ladies. Find a child, young and innocent, and take it to Crookback Bog. Seek out the lady's shrine, tis where the trail of treats begins. Set the child off on the trail, and it shall follow the sweet track and find the good ladies. The child will never want for anything again, for the ladies are kind and generous. Stand before their shrine, pronounce your supplication, and the good ladies will hear, for they see or, for they see and hear all that take place in their uh, demesne. I don't know what that word is. If you made the offering as it must be done, your plea shall be heard. Demes, demesne, demesne. I don't know. Uh, I think it means domain, though. They see and hear all that takes place in their domain. Okay. Yeah, they're they're so generous. You just give them a child and the child never wants for anything again. Because the child is probably dead. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the child, any child you take to them is just going to end up dead. <laughs> for a second I thought the quest was going to say, go find a young and innocent child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Alright, so where is that quest done? Right there, huh? Hmm. Okay, that is actually quite a bit closer than the other quest. I think the other quest is way up here, right? Let's check. Family Matters. Yeah, Family Matters is all the way up here. So let's actually go do the other quest first. Let's go visit the Ladies of the Wood. And I can do that by jumping in this boat that is conveniently right here. And I can boat most of the way to the bog, actually. So yeah, let's do that. And although I do want to focus on the main quest, I'm, so I'm not going to go too much out of my way, being in the boat is fun, so let's explore a little bit. Got this island here, and we have this question mark here. Yeah. Let's go sailing. I really need to repair my stuff and sail, but whatever. Water looks so cool. Man, it's getting really stormy. Like, what just happened? The weather sure changed. There's gotta be something here, right? This is too good. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I can't select it right now. Well, this is awkward. to grab a rusty sword hmm please tell me that's not all the treasure is it no no it's not seems we have a quest on our hands enhanced specter oil cool I hear drowners. Enhanced woven armor. Whoa, that sounds really cool. I don't think they've seen me yet, though. Let's go back up. Alright, let's go ahead and read the note. Although I feel like I just got the, the treasures that the note is probably going to tell me to get. Note to self. Small isle with runes or a bridge built of red brick. That's the spot. Traces of a camp left on the isle. We'll need to dive down among the submerged runes. Chest visible among them. Yeah, I think I just finished the quest. Mm, nope, apparently there's a little bit more. Let's go ahead and rest for a minute. I got my crossbow, so I, so I should be able to take out the drowners from underwater now. Wow, these ruins are really extensive. There's a lot of places for treasure to be hidden. Where's the rest of them? They're close on the minimap, but I don't see them. They've got to be... Oh, I think they're, like, stuck behind this thing. Yeah, I think they're back here. Let's go find them. There's one. Need some air. Really good loot. This is one of the best question marks I think I've ever found. Alright, let's take a look at the stuff that I just got. Yes, yeah, spinning formulas, blah blah blah. So I found um, enhanced specter oil. What do I need for that? Missing Arenaria, okay. Eh, 
And as far as crafting goes, just for my curiosity, I got a bunch. Did I get a piece of armor? Yeah, enhanced woven armor. Level, ah, uh, level 21. Okay, that's not gonna happen for a while. Also, I think I got a weapon. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what it was called, though. I think I got a weapon crafting recipe, but I also actually got a weapon. Death Wand or something like that. There you are. Let's see, how does that compare? Deathwen and Mogrim. Mm, slightly more damage, but that's only because it's repaired and my current weapon is about to fall apart. So if you take that away, then my current weapon will actually do more. Plus 7 frost damage. 1% chance to freeze. Hmm. I'd say it's comparable. It's about the same. There's really no reason to go for it. And I've already got some decent runes on my current weapon. So, nah. Man, I really need to get to a store. Okay, where to now? Have I ever been here? I mean, it seems so large, there's gotta be lots of stuff here. But I don't see any question marks. Let's go check it out. I wish there was a button to make Geralt just like, sing a sea shanty or something. I suppose I could sing a sea shanty, but I don't actually know any. I see beasts. Beasts. Let's go fight them. You know, let's actually get some different bombs in. I don't want all fire. Let's leave, uh... Let's leave Dancing Star. Dragon's Dream requires too much time to activate. And let's put in Grape Shot. I like Grape Shot. Very simple. Easy to use. Come on! You know, my sword is seriously about to break, actually. I, I seriously need to repair it. Let me use one of my repair kits. 40% of item durability restored. Uh, hold on. This is actually a really crappy one. Let's go ahead and use this. 26%, 50%. Let's use one more. There we go. 66%. All right, cool. Doing really bad at dodging. And that is a cloud of like bees or something.
Yeah, I don't know what's up with that cloud of whatever that is, but let me see if I can get rid of him. There we go. That, uh, that puts me at ease. Oh, that's a person. I was trying to make sense of what I was looking at. Looks like they're just, like, kneeling. Hmm. A fresh corpse. Must have come here a while after the nobleman's death. Locked off. What is that green stuff? Is it dangerous? Doesn't seem to be. No, don't attack the one behind you. Oh, I forgot they explode. Oh, I totally forgot about that. God, these things are disgusting. Their name is well earned. You know, I'm not using any oil. Hold on, what is a Rod Fiend? Uh, that would have to be a Necrophage, right? No? Mmm, Cursed? No. You're not an insect. Uh, I don't get it, am I blind? Are they not on my list? Rot Fiend. I would think they're a Necrophage. Alright. I think this entire episode is just going to be me exploring this island. I'm cool with that. Let's see, so I've explored this little village here and this little side spot. Uh, let's go north. Let's explore up here and then go to this like little town place or whatever that is. Maybe there's people. I really hope there's people here. Because I want to repair my stuff and sell all my garbage. Looks like we gotta go back to find the entrance. And I wanna know if this can be blown up or something. No. Hard? Yurden? Axie? I don't get it. It's pretty, and it doesn't seem to hurt me, so I won't complain. Nope, ain't gonna find any shopkeepers here. That's a grave egg. Or, actually, that's a water egg. 
but it's got to be the same type of thing as the Greyfag, right? Yeah, Necrophage. Alright. Necrophage oil. What are you throwing water balls at me? Make sure it is the same type of beast. Yep, water hag and grave hag. Very similar, I'm assuming. Igni Quinn. You're Din Quinn. Okay, so they're actually susceptible to different things. No, yeah, so they're actually quite different. They use the same oil. But one is Yurdin and the other is Igni. I guess because it's a water kind of a water creature, Igni hurts it more. Plus, it's susceptible to a bomb, whereas the Grave Hag is susceptible to black blood. So they're actually significantly different, even though they look very similar. And they are both necrophages. The more you know. Agroid oil? I don't know if I have that. No, I didn't. Um, what if I fought? That's an Agroid. Just Neckers so far, but there's gotta be more. Uh, why- what the- Why does it keep switching? What the- stop! What the fuck? Okay, exit the menu. It's it's switching the menu without me touching anything. Okay, open it. Alchemy, please stay on this this panel. Okay, thank you. That was weird. Hmm, missing. Need one more Ganesha petal. Damn. I don't suppose this is a Ganesha? Honeysuckle. Let's go around the outside and then check out the central building. Ooh, Arenaria. I need that. In fact, that should allow me to make something. There was something where I was just missing one Arenaria. Mmm, enhanced hangman's venom. That must have been it, I guess. Yep, looks like it. Yeah, so this is, this is way better than the base oil. The base oil is, I think, 10% more attack power, and the enhanced version is 25%. Beautiful. Unfortunately, there's no people to test it on. Definitely don't need more wolf spain. I know I've got plenty of that. All right, let's check out the central building. Balls. It's locked. Hmm. I bet there's a quest or something like that that you probably need to do to get the key to this place. Something you need. Let's see if there's maybe another entrance to this place or something. I doubt it, because it is a pretty big place, and I feel like there is a quest for it or something. But, let's see. Oh. Never mind.
Uh. <laughs> Is somebody locked inside? I'm gonna unlock that in a minute. Let me keep searching around. Okay, let's open it. Uh... What? Oh, fuck me. This is a goddamn haunted house. Something, something up with these weird, like, swamp cast bubbles. They can't do anything with them, as far as I can tell. They're not explosive. They don't hurt. Yeah, I feel like I am meant to have a quest when I come here. Um, <laughs> that chair just moved. <laughs> this place really is haunted. Yeah, this is totally a quest thing. Probably supposed to, like, find out what happened here. Yeah, there's all these notes that you're definitely supposed to read, but I can't. It's weird that it even let me come here in the first place. I wonder why it wasn't the case that both doors were locked. something across the floor or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly is it like a false wall is there something behind it mm-hmm being done here. These are test tubes. Experimenting on humans. 
never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. I want to read these notes. I want to know what they were experimenting. What exactly they were doing. Yeah, I hope I get a quest to come back here at some point or something. Oh, here's a note that I can actually read. Hold on. It's like an ethereal memory is trapped here or something. Probably one of the test subjects crying. Alright, let's read the note. The Mage Alexander's Log, Part 1. So it was a mage that was doing this. Uh, where's the note? I don't, I don't see the symbol saying one of them is unread. Oh, I guess... Huh. That's weird, I mean, sometimes it's like it puts them at the bottom and sometimes at the top, I swear. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Day 237. My experiments continue to return results I must consider unreliable. Methodological errors are not at fault. The problem lies in the shoddy and fallible research material I am forced to work with. Despite his prior assurance. This... this... I don't know how to pronounce that. S Sarad? S whatever dude is unable to provide me with enough moderately healthy specimens for my tests. Most of the material is starved and terrified having been dragged here straight from the dungeon. I waste a great deal of time daily washing and delousing them before I will so much as let them step foot into my laboratory. Sterility first. As Marty Sottergren managed to prove in her little-known work, the attitude of a patient undergoing treatment can have a significant impact on the battle against the disease. Unfortunately, the volunteers with which I am supplied do not show sufficient comprehension, let alone enthusiasm, for the noble work in which they are taking part. In fact, it seems they consider the research part of their punishment. I've tried a few times, though I am but a poor speaker, to convince them that they are contributing to the eradication of one of the greatest plagues tormenting mankind. I had the distinct impression they understood little, but perhaps their stupor was merely the result of the early stages of the illness. Of course, it is impossible to achieve success without significant sacrifices. The overwhelming majority of them will have to lay down their trifling lives on the altar of learning. But that is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Jesus Christ! The ego and the lack of empathy from this person. Their lives is a sacrifice I am willing to make. It is not your... that That's not your sacrifice. That's their sacrifice. And they honestly believe that they're volunteers? They're not volunteers, they've been taken from the dungeon. They're, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Elemental oil. How many elementas have I encountered? Just the hounds of the wild hunt. So the hounds were, yeah, the hounds were not beasts or anything like that. I was thinking maybe specters or something, but they're actually a new type. Elementa. Yes, pinning. Oh dear God, please stop that gonna do that for the rest of my life. Here we go. Yep, got plenty of stuff for it. Hmm. Does this go anywhere? I don't think so. No. Until the end. 
What a shitty way to die. Yeah. Is that a child? It's a fucking child. Yeah, you're definitely supposed to do some sort of a quest thing here. It doesn't look like I can actually do anything. Nope. <laughs> you know what I'm curious about? If you can press space to roll and survive the fall... I mean, that doesn't work from all heights, right? Like, I couldn't do that from here, right? What about the water? Is the water deep enough? YOLO! Oh. Dang it. Okay, you can't just mash space to win. <laughs> it's not quite that easy. <laughs> uh. I mean, I don't know. Girl's really acrobatic, you know? It's got like the reaction time of a cat or something. And he trained at the Wolf School of Ninjury. Alright, I'll be coming back here at some point, I'm sure. Yeah, the minimap shows something right here. A symbol, I don't know what it means. It's gotta be this green stuff, though. And Yeah, I just don't have anything to do anything with it. Oh, hello. Golden Oreo. That's a potion, isn't it? Oh, log part two. There we go. Hold on, let me check out and see if that's uh, another potion. It is. Although I'm missing a part of it. Immunity to poisons. Yeah, it gets rid of any poison and gives you immunity to poison. Just missing one blow ball. Alright. Day 346. I never did like rats. Not because of their obscene tales, but rather on account of their lively, disturbing intelligence. They're always listening when a man believes he is talking only to himself. And what's worse, they seem to understand. A few days ago, I got myself... I caught myself talking to one of them, to a particularly large black male with a torn off ear. At first I was overcome by panic. Was this a first manifestation of the illness? Of course, that was impossible, for I had fortified my immunity with powerful spells. Upon further consideration, I concluded it was an altogether natural reflex, when even the most learned among us find hard to restrain. We mages like to be listened to. I place the black rat in a separate cage. The time will come for it to play a part in the tests. Meanwhile, it can keep me company and observe. I've noticed it looks with great concentration at the cages of its infected brethren, particularly those in the last stages of illness. Fascinating. Speaking of company, I have none, besides the black rat, and cannot hope for better. The person whose name I can't pronounce avoids a laboratory and has expressed his desire for his daughter to steer clear of me as well. At first I thought he feared a moral scandal, which would be risable in the extreme, but he explained the true reason in due course. It seems Annabelle has always possessed a fragile, psychic constitution. Observing the ill might throw her into foul humors. The peasants taking part in the study have stopped speaking to me. I don't know what they believe this little act of defiance will serve. That does me no harm. They made for lousy conversation partners. There remains, of course, the woman, but as for her, I try to limit my contact. My black rat has died. Today I found him curled up in his cage. I suspected he'd become infected on accident, but during the autopsy, I did not uncover any signs of illness. He was also perfectly well fed. Strange. From a medical point of view, his death remains unexplained. 
something which I must admit irritates the scholar in me. But as mentioned previously, I'm not particularly fond of rats. Hmm. I have a crazy idea here about these rats and about this research. I have a crazy idea, but I don't want to present it until I know for sure. Or until I look at something. I think there might be a connection between the black rats and the, uh, the, the hags of the bog. Or the witches of the bog, whatever they're called. I think there might be a connection. I really do. But I don't want to say why. Until I've actually met them and seen them. Because my idea might be totally stupid. But yeah, look at this. Um, I got myself talking to one of them, one of the rats. A particularly large black male with a torn off ear. Yeah. So, a torn off ear. I'm just going to write that down. To remind myself. Torn off ear. Let's just look for a torn off ear. Perhaps on one of the, the hags or one of the witches when we meet them. Let's just, let's just look. I've got a hunch. Alright, let's get out of here. that's pretty much the end of this place um although i've not checked out here actually but you know what I'm, I'm pretty damn certain use kira's magic lamp here to conjure up a vision tied to this location's past oh well i don't actually have the lamp right she has the lamp oh i'm supposed to go visit her i need to go visit her if i want the lamp right yeah yep I don't have the lamp, right? I'm like 99% certain she took it. Yeah, she's got the lamp. Okay, so that's why I need to visit her. Ah, oh, in that case, I guess I will visit her even though I don't want to. Uh, but I'm gonna save the other part of this island to explore for when I come back, because I'm gonna wanna come back here anyway. I can't do that now. I can't jump onto my boat. Okay. Can I jump onto my boat now? Thank you. Or, no? How about now? No? Okay. Cool. How about now? What about now? How about now? Ow. Geralt! Thank you. So that was a fun little excursion. Checked out that island and this rather large island here. Wow, I just spent like 45 minutes just going from like here to here to here. My god. This game is dense. Oh, 
Oh, you know what? I totally forgot to spend my skill points. Ha! Huh. I leveled up and got three skill points and I forgot to spend them. Next episode. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to actually, for realsies, spend my skill points. And I think I'm just going to head straight for the bog. Yeah, go meet the ladies of the wood.